YouTube, good morning. It is Saturday morning and we're about to head out. Got some errands to go run today and I'm gonna take you guys along. So it's a little family day. And then uh, we got some stuff to do tomorrow, Sunday. And then we'll be leaving out Sunday evening. So getting the kids all buckled up in the car. Yes. Yeah, we're about to go. I'm gonna buck you all the way so we can go. But sit back, relax. I think we're doing some clothes shopping today. We got some other stuff going on. But y'all sit back, relax. We'll get into the truck here in a little bit. Door number one down. Before we go home, we're gonna eat some dinner, turn in, and call it a day. Say good morning. Good morning. You guys say good morning? Hmm? Say good morning? Oh, now you're going to be quiet. Now the camera's on. Oh, okay. Give us a leave alone. Okay. All right. It is Sunday morning. <coughs> About to get our day started. <coughs> Let's see how the day um. <coughs> goes through. All right, y'all. So we're back here at the yard. And uh, I did end up getting uh, another Landstar drive-in. I will explain why. This is the one I had in my last video. This one here is another one. I will explain why later in the week. Oh yeah. Right. So shortly, well, I gotta go home first. And then later on tonight, we're leaving out. Well, I say we as if me and you guys. We're leaving out, going down to Harahan, Louisiana. Um, going down to Cisco. Is it Harahan? Yeah, I think it's Harahan. 
Going to the Cisco. We're going to drive there tonight. So we can be on time for our 10 a.m. appointment. So I'm going to try to get there at midnight. So at least get my hours back by 10 a.m. But we we'll rolled out tonight. But yeah, I'll explain later on this trailer as to what is going on. Uh, yeah, it's down all the way. Hold on. Look, wait, just look, just watch it. Okay. All right, y'all come stand up here so I can move the truck. So I'm gonna leave this empty here. Jump back into my uh, my loaded one. And then we're gonna head on to the house. And show him how to do it. Watch his face. Watch his face. Zeke, move back. Go ahead. Yeah, let me see which way it is. Let me see. Come check. Let me take some of the weight off. This way. No, 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 no. Other way. Push up. All the way up. Up, 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 up. Push it, push. There you go. Sorry, move back while he's working before he hits you. Right, keep going. Here, push it right here. Right here. Now watch your face. All right, you got to pull the legs all the way up. Josiah, go over there on that side and go get that wood. There you go. Keep going. Got a long way to go. Keep going. Get that wood and go put it by the other trailer. Long way to go. Keep going. Better knives. <laughs> mm -hmm. He says I cook a little bit longer. Yeah. But in order to get you out of here on Yeah. 
You gonna bounce? Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah. Move them thighs. Move them thighs. Yeah. Move them thighs. Uh oh, you sleepy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. Now it's time to get on the road. Have a great Mediterranean dinner. I didn't think I was gonna say that right. And y'all see it's about night out. House is locked up. I know some of y'all were saying I uh, don't keep my garage door open, but uh, we literally don't have any crime out here. Like where we stay, it's pretty, uh, it's real quiet. And then y'all know when we pull in, we have that uh, security. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out without the security knowing about it. And it's 24 seven. Where are my keys? Oop, don't need no copyright strike. Ugh. But yeah, the crime rate over here, which is why we moved out here is next to zero. Like, we literally do not have crime. It's like a tight-knit little community. But we are, we've only been in this house for almost two years. It'll be two years in July. But, um, <clears throat> I need to get some gas, like, ASAP. Do I have my wallet with me? But yeah, we've been out here almost two years and we're already thinking about moving because I think it's gonna get overpopulated here pretty soon. All right, I got everything. But yeah, so uh, they're expanding where we live and it's getting overpopulated. And plus, uh, we want more property. I'm thinking somewhere in between 10 to 50 acres of land. Which way y'all going? Um, yeah, between 10 to 50 acres of land. That way Laura can have a, a bigger garden. Uh, I can get a shop going. Um, I want to build a, I get like a double wide and put a, uh, just like a little guest house back there in the back studio music studio so i can get back to doing that i make my music stuff and teach the kids how to do it because i want a dj set up i want a studio set up i want all kinds of stuff just goals long-term goals and then i also want to get a uh, something in, in store just in case you know crap hits the fan have y'all seen that movie uh What's the name of that movie? The one with Julia Roberts and stuff in it. Uh, about the world ending. Uh, <clears throat> the world left behind, I think it's called. I'll leave the world behind. Uh, just get something set in stone for when crap hits the fan. Like a bunker or something. Even if it's not my generation, it's where, you know, it passed down to my kids and stuff. But yeah. We got plans and we got goals, but in order to do all that, we're gonna need some acreage. Like the acre that we're on now is cool, but we want we want to go ahead and get some more. And land is going for pretty cheap, so we're looking. Well, we will be looking for some property when we go out there to North Carolina, just as a second. I think I mentioned that before, the second residency. If we ended up end up uh, doing some some work out there. I don't know, just goals, just ideas we're passing. So, but yeah, but anyway, all that just to say, the crime rate here is like ridiculously low, like if anything at all. And then like the county that we live in, they are really harsh. And so between that and just the, the population of police officers and stuff, and there's the people who are really nice over here. That's why we chose to live in like a little small town. I think the population of the town we live in is like 660 people, 660 people, something like that. There's the guard shack right there, loop. 
But anyway, let's get on to this truck. And we'll get on down to, uh, what is it, uh, Harahan or New Orleans. All right, well, we're back down here at the yard. So yeah, I'll explain that trailer later in the week. But uh, let's get this one uh, cranked on up. work another week ready to start another week last week before I gotta take two weeks off for our road trip and like I mentioned before like I mentioned before uh, actual road trip part of the uh like footage wise channel wise it'll um uh, it'll be on my wife's channel we the spencer family her link is down there in the description below uh we the spencer family go check out that channel that's where all the uh content will be for the actual road trip part of the uh of the trip uh the trucking content, us looking at these trucks that we're possibly going to be purchasing. And then the truck show and all that kind of stuff will be here on this channel. So, so we're waiting on her to uh, warm on up, air on up. And once that happens, uh, I'm going to get some fuel. I don't know where and when yet, but I need to get some fuel. And then uh, get on down to Harahan, Louisiana. But uh, when we do get back, from the Mid-America Truck Show. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with the second truck yet, if I'm gonna drive that one, or what I'm gonna do, and set this one aside so we can get it worked on, or if I'm gonna put a driver in it right away for the truck to start making some revenue. And then meanwhile, I still drive this one, or that's if we come back with one truck. We might be coming back home with multiple. So I don't know, guys. Just wait and see, that's all I can say. But, uh, but yeah, so this truck here, uh, we're going to be putting some work into it hopefully when we get back from the mid America truck show uh, just waiting on some some funds to come in no not taxes no but we got some funds coming in and once that those funds come in we'll be able to start working on uh, this truck so and I want to do I want to try to do a majority of it all at one time which is why I'm waiting on this huge chunk of change to come in that way we can uh, uh, get a majority of it done all at once. And I ain't got to keep stopping the truck to get something done. Uh, so. Slowly but surely. And I still see people in the comment section who are saying, sell the truck, sell the truck, get rid of the truck. Nah, this truck ain't going nowhere at all. Like, the truck's already paid for itself. So everything everything we're making now is just pure, you know, profit, maintenance and repair. And that's why we got a cash truck. I have seen a little bit of like blow by. So eventually we'll have to get that all checked out. And if we have to do an overhaul here in the next couple of months or so, we're still way better off than having a, uh, a truck note. So she's not the prettiest truck, but she runs, she runs solid. And she's bringing in a lot of revenue, quite a bit of revenue, a lot more than Robert's making having a truck note. And so uh, we do not regret our decision at all. But uh, hit, whoop, what I on? Oh, snap. But uh, but yeah, having a cash truck and all the, and the revenue we're bringing in, 
is definitely uh, definitely a way better uh, option. And I've seen a lot of you guys are coming over to Landstar uh, as well. Congratulations. Let me know if I, if I can be of any service or any help to you guys. Email me. Should be an email and ask. But uh, I have no regrets about Landstar. Keeping us busy. Y'all see the loads I post. At the end of the day, it's all about just feeding my family. It's not about who has the nicest truck, who is on the road the longest, who makes the most revenue. It's not even about all this stuff. It's about providing for your family, which is why. And I did have other options, don't get me wrong, other than this truck here. But uh, I just kind of wanted to prove a point that you can ride around, still make money with something that's not as, uh, as pretty. So, yeah. But anyway. We had a good weekend, did some shopping, uh, a lot of shopping, getting some stuff ready for the Mid-America Truck Show, and uh, spent some money, a lot of money, but kids are happy, wife is happy, they got to get what they want, the way they can dress comfortably, and kind of express themselves, and then next weekend we're going to the, uh, the Houston Livestock and Rodeo, which is something we have every year, is a rodeo, with horses and cattle and all that kind of stuff, carnival. Uh, concert and all that cool stuff so we'll be going to that next weekend but the governor just kicked on blowing dust everywhere uh chuck has been pre-tripped already and so we're about to get on out of here and uh get to new orleans i don't feel like driving it's late but you gotta do what you gotta do so let's roll
like it when it's you and me. Other trucks are pulling up too. But I always get the uh, the entrance to this place mixed up. The dump park right here. safe. I can't believe that, y'all. Look at this. You all can see the cracks on it or not. <sighs> I swear. That really made me, that made me real mad. But I have a spare holder here in the truck, so I just went ahead and put that one on. And so, why is this one, is this one breaking too? I don't know where else. I think this one's breaking. But yeah, like I said, I was not trying to get here, no. Three o'clock in the morning. But, uh, my appointment's not until 10. And I pray to God they get me in and out of here tomorrow. It is Monday, so I don't really have uh, high hopes, but I have hopes. But last time I was here, I think I was here eight freaking hours in the in the dock waiting to get offloaded. And then also, whenever I come here, even when I was hauling reefer with the frozen food express, it always rained here. I don't know why. It always rained. I think I'm gonna put a sticky note or something on my door saying my appointment's not until 10. There's a lady at like five or six in the morning, she'll come knocking on all the doors saying, Come line up, come line up. It's like, no lady, I'm not gonna go, no. Uh -uh. I'm gonna start creeping in there because everybody starts going in like five or six in the morning. I'm not gonna do that. I am going to wake up around 9.30 and creep my way on through there like I usually do. But yeah, y'all, But I am out of it, I am beat. So I was not trying to get here this late, but just Running around, doing, knocking out errands with the family and stuff just set me back. Well, not with, well, with, for the family. Any, anyway, y'all, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Oh, man. But yeah, we are excited about the Mid America Truck Show in Louisville, Kentucky coming up. Hope oh, uh, to see you guys there. We will be at the Mighty Products booth which is gonna be right across from Green APU and uh, next to uh, the Landstar booth. We'll be over there hanging out with them. So come say hi, come say what's up. Uh, come be a cameo on uh, for a video or two. And like I said earlier, uh, any 
anything travel related uh like actual road trip content will be on my wife's channel which is we the spencer family w-e-t-h-e-s-p-e-n-c-e-r family uh, that link is down in the uh, description so we'll be hanging out there with uh, my mechanic brad so if y'all want to come say hi to brad <clears throat> that's where he'll be he'll be at the mechanic at the uh, kind of sort of i guess I'll, I'll see if he wants to hang out at the booth too but i don't think the booth's gonna be that big for all of us to be congregating in that booth but we'll be coming in and out and passing stuff there's like all these trash trucks going back and forth golly hauling butt but uh but yeah y'all anyway i'm tired i'm going to bed had a long weekend and about to have a long week and then a long weekend after that i might be working over the weekend which will explain the other trails that i have but hopefully i end up working throughout the weekend i got some phone calls to make in the morning but sunday night i'm gonna get some well technically it's monday morning now i'm gonna get some rest and i will catch you guys at noon central standard time on the next one